Oh, okay. I think I think I think I see what you're saying. Okay. You can't level up yet. But I have 106,000 souls. What if I lose them? That doesn't seem fair. Well, I guess it's time to not suck. Just be good, streamer. You're not wrong, really. Okay, we also brick, like... Never mind, I'm no longer worried. <laughs> oh, Demon's Great Hammer. Oh, that is indeed important. Thank you for that tip. Those souls here were they really yours to begin with? Yes, they were mine. I claimed them for all my victims. How do you level up? Like, when do you get the ability? I actually don't remember. Having too many souls makes me uncomfortable. What's in here? Oh, read Gwyn's soul. Dude, I've completely forgot about Gwyn's freaking soul. Like, some kind of dingus. Soul of... The Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight, and Cinder, who link the first flame. Actually, why not? Who link the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burned a cinder for the first flame, but even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. So what do I do with it? Like, uh, in terms of weapon, like, what, what weapon can I uh, make out? Like, what should I upgrade the moment I access? I do like the Gwyn. It's a little sus. Hey, dingus. Shoot a boulder at me? Oh no. Oh, dude! I knew it was coming. Call the Lord of Cinder like the group of these. I was gonna say, he is a lord. That is pretty oh, epic and lore, I, I, lore stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah regrettably. Now I'm. He gives me the big pilgrim key? Oh, because we killed the boss, so he gives me the big pilgrim key. That typo has been since Prepare to Die edition. The Wrath killed the Gwyn. Ah, okay, so this opens that. Nice, nice. And then let's go up here. I wonder when the game gets hard again. Because, like, this stuff's still really, like, you know, baby mode. Piano, automatic pay. Okay, that explains it. Thank you. We can get two whole levels with a fucking ass ton of souls. Dude, this is ridiculous. So are you saying that if we help five people with bosses, that we won't have to have any faith in order to join the Covenant because it's like a 25 faith requirement? Is this the case? So we can help three people with bosses with how much faith we have? Like we can switch to online and like do that, I guess. Well, then we can do that. If anyone, we can probably get to a point where if someone is at a boss, like we can get chat to like help do it like i'll help you with the boss so that i get the ability to do this covenant thing or i can just randomly ha like help people but like then we'd have to wait and i have no patience so you know why is your humanity zero because <laughs> i die a lot okay you can Grave Lord and Dark Wraith. Okay, good. Sounds good. Are you just gonna like talk to people to like extend their dialogue? Also, I'll be able to do the. I'll be able to meet Kaylana because I missed her before, so we can do that. Okay, so we can go to the Grave Lord. So we have to. We're gonna go to the Catacombs first. Even though I hate it. Although, actually, real quick. So, does it matter when I kill Petrus, chat? Hello there. I okay, Petrus. I but here yeah, no. Oh, oh, I have to. Very well. I kind of want to go to Blight Town and Catacombs first. They're like my worst favorite areas in the whole game. We already have all these. 
we have this. So... My companions are my lady. She is young. But we are her dif... Come again. The effectiveness... Okay. So, like, can I kill him? Basically? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a snack anyway. I'm kind of hungry and I kind of want a cookie. You're good? Okay. Each two friend joins Covenant. Can I kill him though? Dude, he's not a friend. Right, Covo? We know now. We see right through him. He's a dingus and he... he okay, he kills the lady. He murders her. Race high quest if you want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it because I think we probably get some stuff out of it, you know? I always led by Gwyn's creepy, creepy uncle. <laughs> yeah. I've already bought all his miracles, so I don't need him for anything. Not a thing. By the lords! You damn Ow. fool! Enough of you! Feel the wrath of the gods! The wrath of the gods! What about the, what about the wrath of the gods? Yo, he's the Westus! <laughs> no! This can't be. It, it can't, can't be. be like this. Way too late, Mergalon, I'm sorry. Done this early mess of the quest. Why didn't you guys say that before? I waited like 10 minutes. <laughs> well, new game plus two, baby. Let's go. Many people suddenly saw. There, he doesn't have a quest line. His quest line is that he's a fucking dick. He doesn't deserve a, a, a quest line, dude. He deserves death. He's a lying murderino. I'm at least an honest murderino. Oh, uh, watching Final Destination. Oh, which one? There's like several, I think. Quite a few Final Destinations. Which is weird because, you know, wouldn't they have called it like the penumbral destination instead of the final destination? If they keep on making more Final Destinations? Like maybe like almost a Final Destination? Like we're almost there yet? Destination? Because, like, there's just so many of them. It seems like a bad name. Maybe they should have named the very first one Destination. And then the second one would be the next Destination. And then the final one could be the final Destination. I feel like that'd be a really good marketing shtick. We got the Kailana answer? Ooh, ooh, so what, what's, what's the answer? Uh... Dex. Okay, if I were a fire queen, where would I be? <sighs> I'd be clutch have rat wrath right lore. Dude, I know I could like oh dude, that'd be so fun. I love lore. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love lore. You know, I just love it so much. Is that her? I do be looking like her alright. It's her! Hmm. A mere undead. Yet you can see me. Fascinating. I am Quailana of Isolith. Well, this I is Fosefka. I to walk as a flesh. You have a gift. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancy? Yes. Like Salomon? Yes. Yes, of course. I wish I had spent on my souls. Dude, well. this is... A thousand and two percent. Bosefka. To pursue my pyromancy, you must give something up. Like what? Are you prepared to do this? Okay. Long ago, I accepted another pupil like yourself. There was a man almost as bungling as you. Wow. In your world, he was called Salaman, the master pyromancer. Okay, whatever. The rascal really made something of himself. Yo, he was bungling? Pyromancy is the art of invoking and manipulating fire. But remember one thing. Always fear the flame. Lest you be devoured by it and lose yourself. I would hate to see that happen again. Again, huh? Is she talking about her mom? Pyromancy is the art, but always... I, I kind of feel like she's talking about her mom. Okay, so we need this, this, and this. And then also this, and also this, and yeah. Okay, so we can buy this. Dude, there's so many pyramids. That's big lore, believe it or not. Dude, of course it's big lore. 
Bit a lot of flame addicts and dark souls, she could be talking about a few. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel like getting consumed by the flame though is like a thing that sort of was specific to her mom. Like she could be talking about pupils, but she okay, we meet her and she specifically says one time I took a pupil two hundred years ago. Which means she doesn't take many pupils. So who could it have been? Maybe Salomon was the one who was devoured by the flame. But I think it was actually the, Iz the Witch of Izalith. Because what we know is the Witch of Izalith wanted to create another flame. And as such, she was... It was hubris. She believed that she could succeed where everyone else failed. She stopped fearing the flame. And look what happened to her. She fucking got consumed by it and transformed. And all of her children got turned into monsters. And her kingdom fell. And she became the mother of demons. You know, that was her punishment for not fearing the flame anymore. Talking about her mama? Yeah. I'm just guessing she's talking about her mom. She could be talking about someone else. Also, is this not totally Willem, though? You know, fear the old blood. Fear the old blood, Lawrence. By God, fear it. And then it's just like, Lawrence is like, ha 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 ha, bitch. No. And look what happens. He turns into some dangus. Whose ass is on fire. Now go. Whatever you do, do not crack and go hollow. Lest my time spent on you be wasted. I'm uncrackable, baby. Oh, look a shiny. Shiny charm. This game's lore hurts my brain. Oh, baby, prepare to put on a helmet because your brain is going to be hurting by the time we're done. Well, your mama is so fat she blocks the light in the first wave. <laughs> Dude, I want to like get everything. I want the Lord Vessel ASAP. So we should try to, okay. We should speed run the Lord Vessel because I want to be able to teleport again. But we got to get it from Koth, right? We got to get it from Koth. So we got to kill the four kings first. Is that like the case? I'm gonna wait for him to pick up his little thingus ass boulder again and then stand up straight and... Okay, so we gotta kill gargoyles first, or we can kill K-Log. Well, actually, we gotta do both. We gotta kill K-Log, we gotta kill, uh... Uh... Gargoyles. So we can kill K-Log while we're here. Is there any reason we shouldn't kill K-Log right now? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is there a human invader? Here? Is there is there an invader in Blighttown? Like, should I become human and stuff? Yes. Okay, where... Though? Nearby. Okay, toward K-Log or the other way? Walk straight out. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, golly, sure it'd be a shame if someone went and invaded me. Oh, let's go, it's Manager freaking Mildred. I was just talking about you, baby girl. Oh, she coming. Oh, Lord, she coming. Oh, look at her go! Goddamn! Oh, she thick. Holy shit. Is she thick? Damn, dude. You've been eating a lot of mans. A lot of man things. Maybe girl. Let's go. That should be it. No, no, she's still, she's still coming. Let's go. Easy money, baby. Meaning power of dark spirit. Oh, we got a humanities. We got three humanities! Butcher knife! <gasps> Let's heal. Dude, I didn't know you get so much humanities! Giant butcher knife wielded by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. More a tool for subduing and preparing live catches than an actual weapon. 
Those who have faced this deadly blade have a deeper sense of how helpless prey must feel. Ah, uh, I. Okay, so we can buy this. And this. And then we need 50k souls for the rest. God damn. Now go. Whatever you do. Do not crack and go hollow, yes, my Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, um, let's pick up, let's read the lore on the, on the things that she has. I just realized she has, like, lore. I know I'm, I know I'm poisoned. We'll figure it out. Okay, so she gave us Undead Rapport. Advance pyromancy of Kailana of Iceland. Charm undead and gain temporary allies. The living are lured by flame, and this relationship is part and parcel to the art of pyromancy. Can be used by either gender. Um... Uh... Art of the Flame of Chaos, which engulfed the Witch of Isolith and her daughters, sweep foes with Chaos Fire Whip. The Fire Whip was wielded by the eldest of the Daughters of Chaos. So I get the feeling that Kailana didn't go with her sisters because she feared the flame while no one else did. You know? That's why she didn't go with her sisters. And that's why she's alive while everyone else... She's the only one who wasn't transformed into a demon, you know? Died during the last playthrough, you did everything to him. <gasps> so, Lair? Man eater fing Mildred! That's unexpected. That's kind of funny. Maybe I'll summon. Like, I don't really need it, but it might be fun. It's free because we're human. Cool! The only thing that you learn from Laurentius is that. Even though you're giving- in most RPGs, this is a more storytelling thing than it is a lore thing, but it's still pretty cool. Um, Laurentius is happy, well-adjusted, he's- he, he's happy being, um, an undead. He's probably the most well-adjusted of all of them. Um, but the one thing that he wants is to grow as a pyromancer, and when he finds out that there are, uh, spells that he cannot access, because we probably tell him about, um, Kailana, or the fair lady because i got the spell from the fair lady that triggered his quest but it's presumable that we told him there's a lady down there that you can see if you are talented enough in pyromancy and she will teach you but he goes down there and he realizes that he's not talented enough in pyromancy to see her so he goes bonkers because his whole goal was to grow as a pyromancer and he realizes that he's never going to be able to grow as a pyromancer to the level that he wants so it's the kind of idea, in most RPGs, when you give people what they want, they're like, Yay, thank you for progressing my quest line. Here's a gift. I'm happy now. Laurentius is the reverse. He's one of the only NPCs that you meet that's pretty happy on his own. And if you give him what he wants, he loses his mind. So it's really interesting because it's almost like a reference to tropes in RPGs about how it's always good to help people and give them what they want. But in this game, if you give people what they want, sometimes it's not the right thing to do. And it's, it's, oh, it's so interesting. Because it's like, do you want him to know the truth or do you want him to be comforted by a lie? You know? Anyway, let's go fight. I just thought it'd be fun to summon her. Let's watch the cutscene again, everybody. Get ready. Oh, amazing chest ahead. <laughs> it's a pretty great cutscene, though. Like, oh, scary monster. Ooh. And then it's just like, ooh. Sexy lady. Oh. So that everyone just gets confused, you know? Like, am I supposed to have a boner right now or not? She even does the. So where you at, man-eater? Get his money! Here, take, take that girl. Go, go, chop her up. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. You know? Wow! 
No! No, I can't get Mildred. Well, not that she was very helpful anyway, but whatever. Our humanities! your combo, it's very rude. I'm stuck! Chat, that was unfair. That was unfair. She stuck. I was stuck between her legs. Oh, that came out. Wrong. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> the spider ones, you know? Yeah, a little bit loot. It's a bit of a wrath loot situation, but I didn't mean it. Oh, no, 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 it's a bad spot. Don't get stuck in the fire. You know what can happens. Come on now, how far away do you have to be? Okay, she's not too bad. You can get two favor and protection rings. Oh. The ring is dropping a bot. Like, I know that, but like, you know. I just wanted to take care of Kalog, and now we have some souls. I think we'll be able to buy everything from Kalana now, so then we'll be done with Kalana. And then I'll have to check what pyromancies I'm missing. I just wonder why Kaylana doesn't... Like, does Kaylana not know about her sisters? Do you know what I mean? I have a small feeling that Kaylog and Kaylana stay close to each other. Or Kaylana stays close to Kaylog. But Kaylog doesn't like Kaylana because she sees her as a traitor. You know what I mean? Because she's the only one who wasn't horrifically transformed. But then in Dark Souls 3, they seem to find each other. I don't know. I have to. I have to kind of assess how I feel about that. Like what that means. Am I something about Kalog? Not sure. Um, maybe when you buy more stuff from her. Apparently, buying stuff from people is how you make friends in this game. Honestly, is putting the bed of chaos down is a mercy killing. That thing is a fusion of her mother and sisters. Yeah, but like, like that I know. But Kalog and the fair lady are the only two of her sisters who seem to have any sort of sentience and any quality of life. Well, the fair lady did have quality of life before she decided to sacrifice herself for the denizens of Blight Town. Are we left to avoid the aggro? That's smart. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, because she does that, uh, she's like Kalog must feel responsible for her, considering that they look very similar. It suggests to me that the fair lady and Kalog were perhaps like very close sisters, particularly close. Um, and then Kalana is just. They feel bad about every one of them. She feels bad about what happened to all of them. And she stays close, but she doesn't interact with them for a reason, ah, I think. Truth be told, I thought you had perished. Really? They killed your sister. The How's Witch that? of Isolith. Please, do not speak of her. I abandoned my mother and sisters and fled to this land. Now I roam these parts, feigning ablution and pretending to seek answers. Wow. So she, she, she fled. I don't know if it, I think fleeing means fear. So I think she was scared. But yeah, I kind of get the feeling that she, she fled because she feared the flame while no one else did. I'm actually, I never realized how similar this whole quest line is to um, Willem and Lawrence. Primal pyromancy taught by Kailana of Isolith, erect fire pillars in vicinity. The storm of flame is indiscriminate and incinerates all nearby life. Kalana was simply lucky to escape while that was going on. Yeah, she was lucky, but like her everything she ever everyone she ever loved is gone. And they probably saw her as a traitor, so she has mad survivor's guilt, you know? Not fun. Not fun. Oh, Carmina was the pupil of Salomon. Dude, Salomon was like important then, huh? Salomon the one who taught Laurentius? Um, I think Solomon happened a long time ago. But it's possible, because you know. The undead, right? 
But I don't know. I kind of get the feeling that uh, Solomon was like a past person and um, Elana is the one who taught him and then Carmina came and then, you know. They don't really talk specifically about the, the timeline. But maybe it was. Maybe that was his, uh, his teacher. And it says that Solomon believed that Pyromancy came from an adoration of fire. And that does actually fit with what Laurentius talked about his teacher. He actually says something along the lines of he says that it's it's something you know what? Actually? Damn dude, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I think you're right, Snoopy, yeah. Because Laurentius tells us about his um his teacher. He says he says something about people really, really, like, want the flame, but they can't hold it. And then those who, like, become obsessed with it become pyromancers because they really want the flame and stuff. And what does that describe if not literally an adoration of fire? So, the Witch of Isolith was the godmother of pyromancy. Then her daughters were all pyromancers. And then... Solomon learned from one of the daughters. We know that for sure. So he was quite possibly the first human traditional pyromancer. Yeah, anyway, so time is convoluted, sorry. But it's also the undead, if they still have purpose, they don't go hollow. Right? So Laurentius could be old as balls. That's a technical term, it's old as balls. Wow, I'm only missing two pyromancies, chat. I looked on the internet. I'm actually missing two pyromancies, and one of them, I apparently have to have an egghead in order for Angie to sell it. Do you, do you guys know how to get an egghead? Like, I'm assuming it's like a status effect of some kind. Oh, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Andres, we found Andres. Sigurd? Mm. Good word? Mm. Mm. It's me. Mm. Dude, chat, we have Rafhum now. Please, can I get the Rafhums in chat? <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> I am Siegmeier. Oh, this is Siegmeier. Dang it, I thought it was Sigurd. I get them confused. I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. So cute. No matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited? So, Could it be yeah, helps I increase eye frames? Oh, in yeah. Quite a in quite a pickle. Option, so to speak. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, this, everything sucks. Ha 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 ha. Yep. Still closed. Still closed. Mmm. Dude, I love him. He just sits there waiting for it to open. And the best part is that eventually it does. Oh my god, I love Onion Bro. Oh, I never read this lore, Chatterinos. Demon weapon built from the stone arch trees used by lesser demons at North Undead Asylum. This hammer is imbued with no special power, but can merely beat foes to a pulp, providing you have the strength to wield it. Dude, I don't like how they take well, away, um... This. Did they take this away each playthrough? You have to buy it each playthrough. That's really lame. I don't like that at all. Like, why? I bought this with my own money. Why am I doing this again? Like, why am I here? Do I want a weapon? Like, what? I'm trying to pick a weapon. And I'm testing it. But now I'm, I've gotten... I've done distracted myself. We're coming back in a bit. Joke's on you. My souls are closer. Do you want help? Yeah, six. I'll start the DeLorean. Yeah, we have to go back to the future. See, what the f doodle do was that? You know? We, like, touched his body and it was like, oh, you seem to have touched his sword, you know, at the edge there a little bit. 
I was definitely, you're definitely gonna take some bandage, some damage there. My name is Dark Souls 1 and I'm really good at hitboxes. Dude, Dark Souls 1 hitboxes are like the referee of your local sports team that always calls against them and is very rude and bad. You know? I'm trying to, I'm trying to appeal to the sports crowd, you know? Some bandage, I did say bandage, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the hype, Abelupus. I need it. See, I clicked this as an extra R1 there. Look what happened. Look, look what happened to your poor innocent streamer who's never done harm in her life. Who's never harmed a single soul. I rolled into his chest. I'm, I'm not trying to have a romantic entanglement with this asshole. I'm trying to get to his tail. Oh, Titanite Demon Senpai. I appear to have fallen into your chest. He brought me back! What is happening? This was so cursed. You think you can block me? Block this. Holy shit! Dude, that was cool as hell! I actually didn't know this was here. I maybe shouldn't have done that. We have to kill Loudtrek real quick. Chat, where is Loudtrek? I don't remember his ass. I don't remember him at all. He's so irrelevant to my mind and or memory. Okay, so I'm guessing Loudtrek's up here. Yes, he is. Ooh, as I was once grateful to you, but if this is our fate, so be it. Come on, clap his cheeks, get him! Clap him! Oh, dude, what the hell? Look at this dingus medium rolling, or fat rolling, or rolling that isn't fast. Okay. Oh lord, he coming. Weapon, but I don't know why I thought that. Oh. Oh yeah, you like those parry dingus? There you go. All right. I fell. Come here. Let's go. Okay, come here. Yo, parry is actually ridiculously easy in this game. <laughs> like, what? Why have I not been doing this? Why have I not been doing this? It's just so forgiving. What the f***? Someone did him dirty the way he does others dirty. Five humanity. Bring a favor and protection. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay. Um, am I gonna get my ass slapped? Let's find out. Hopefully not. Let's see how much damage I do. Hello, dinguses. Oh, God, see, God, see, God, see. Look, right from the get go, you can see there's two of them, you know? We don't need the tail weapon, we already got it, so we can just... We can just kill him. Dude, that's me. This is me when I get up after streaming. I'm just like... Oh, you know? Not really, actually. <laughs> just... <laughs> just that'd be funny. <laughs> you can summon both Loudtrek and Solaire for this one. I haven't even met Solaire yet! 
You can choose not to revive her and use it as S plus. Yeah, but like, why would I do that? It's my home, you know? That did nothing. While that one's blowing fire, like, get this thing. Shit. Oh, I swear it! Oh, dude, that range is disgusting, not gonna lie. Oh, but now my... Now my souls are stuck in the boss fight. Dude, this is tough. You didn't talk to him yet? No, yeah, I, I completely forgot to talk to him. I have to kind of backtrack and go around. I haven't even fought Taurus yet. Oh my god, I'm doing this so weirdly out of order. Like, the first boss that I fought beside Asylum Dean, which is required to leave the end of Asylum. Well, maybe he's not required. I'm pretty sure he is, though, but I'm not sure. Um, the only boss that I fought so far has been K-Log. Like, what a weird order to do stuff in. So he's gonna aggro right away and probably, like, clap my cheeks before I can... Oh! Dude, I was just out of range there, holy shit. Okay. Okay, that has a much faster wind-up than I think it does. Like, it seems like it should take longer, so I'm waiting to dodge the last second, and then I get to like, like, Alright, well I got an extra gargoyle tail left. You know, never a bad thing, I guess. Unfortunately, second homie's coming. Okay, see, this is the shit that bothers me a little bit about this game. But you have to kind of like have everything really precise. This is the fight that I remember first getting annoyed with the Dark Souls. And to be honest, I think it was the most annoyed I got. Maybe K-Log. K-Log did piss me off a little bit, but like, damn, dude! I've used so much S's and I can barely get a hit in because it keeps spamming fire. made me cry. Yeah, they were- oh, you know what? They were a little bit more for sure, too. Put them oddly. They were not fun. Oh my god. Their range is just a little gross for, like, the fact that there's also two of them, you know what I mean? Come on! Dude, I was sipping, but he was just sprinting at me. Ugh. Toxic. Kalog was pretty bad in the first run for sure. Yeah, I just had really bad luck. I remember I had like one good run. Um, and that was all it took. And it was also the run up. I was worried about running out of poison, like stuff that cancels poison. Dialogue with Loud Track. Yeah, like I wanted to be a lore through. Like that's the goal, right? Like the goal is to do all the quest lines and get a bunch of lore. But like I'm gonna miss stuff. It's only my second playthrough, and the first playthrough I did like just figuring out what I could figure out on my own, right? So I really do want to get all the lore out, but it's not gonna be like exhaustive, unfortunately, but just because of the, the lack of knowledge that I have. 
the group has signs of SCE for pros. That's good to know. Yeah, I figured. Alright, we're warming up immediately by going to the boss that I was stuck on. Not like hard stuck though, just like slightly stuck, you know? Oh shit, I have a humanity. We already got his tail, we don't need to get his tail either, but like, you know. We'll do what we can. Oh no! It's going pretty well so far. If we can get the one down, that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, that totally makes sense. I totally get it now, and it, I totally understand why, but I just didn't, like, put it together. Um, that you need the Abyss Walker ring, so you you need to kill Sif early, so you can get to Koth, you get to Four Kings. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Totally get it. I don't know about weapon durability. I know about weapon durability! Why are you asking it so passive-aggressively? <laughs> Listen, I know what- I've played Souls before! I- I know things! Just because I'm bad doesn't mean that I'm dumb. <laughs> you can be very smart and very bad at stuff at the same time. I prove that every day. Except for the being smart part. What the f Yeah, you fly over there for a little bit there. Yeah, you have a nice little flight. Weird thing this. My dice is also really good to see on the low! The down red and the arrow, top left, the green one. That's- it's fine, it's still working. Look how much damage it's doing! It's fine! It's cutting off tails! It's broken because I kept using the- the R2 move, which you're apparently not supposed to do, even though it's very fun. Alright, can you like- What even hit me though? Like, did the edge of his little pointy tail touch me and I took some touch damage or what? Oh good, the weapon is broken. It, do, it's still hitting like a truck though. Look how strong it is. What do you mean the damage is trash? It's so, it's hitting so hard. What are you even talking? Okay, you know what? Just because it, it, you know what? We're going back to the tracer. <laughs> See, it's also potentially important lore wise. Oh, only plus one. I don't have any dragon scales. It's hitting so hard. This is, everyone's talking smack on my broken weapon, and I'm like, well, what about my broken heart? You guys don't care about that. You guys don't care about my broken heart. Talking about my broken weapon. It's still hitting so hard. You know what? Bring up weapon drama. Don't worry, I'm fully joking. Sorry, clicks. <laughs> this is just how I am. <laughs> Welcome in! Because I'm well behaved in chat? Yeah. I mean, I don't talk smack about your broken heart. Oh. Marla takes care of the heart? That's not true. He's very mean sometimes, that cat. So cute, but very mean. Oh, maybe it was doing little damage. <laughs> I understand now. Listen, I'm just practicing for my soul level one run, okay? I thought it was hitting really hard. I've been using the Black Knight Halberd, so everything else is just pathetic to me, <laughs> honestly. Don't touch me! I'm busy! Don't touch me! You fing dick! I literally asked you not to touch me like three times! Soul level one? <laughs> Tail break with a broken weapon. 
<laughs> Don't wrath me. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Dunking gargles with rusty blunt objects that are plus one in New Game Plus. Yeah, dude, this is an easy game. It's an easy game made for children, okay? I will be <laughs> with a broken weapon. <laughs> Listen, it said weapon at risk like five times and I just ignored it. It's like when it says that my controller's low battery. What do you think I do? What do you think I do when that happens? Do you think I plug in my controller? No. I tell it to, to man up and toughen up. That's facetious. No one should ever need to man up because the concept of, of manning up is, is deeply damaging. So that was a joke. Don't ever, if anyone ever says it to you unironically, punch them in the face. Don't do that either, actually. Don't, don't do violence. Metaphorically punch them in the face with a deeply scathing ex expression and then make them feel bad about what they said. Are you dead? Can you consider dying? That's what I thought. All right. Listen, dude, I got really close with a broken weapon, though. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that? The battery is so low, why is it wasting energy telling you about it? Exactly. Why don't it just go, like, why don't it just, like, get a new battery on its own? Oh, you dick, move out of the way! Oh, they're so rude. Yeah, so anyway, it's rated T for T, which just basically means it's a baby game for baby gamers. So, like, it's easy, you know? Well, like, it's hard, you know? Elle Woods, baby. Legally Blonde. Iconic film. Truly iconic. I need to rewatch that. Her outfits? Incredible. Incredible. Alright, what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna, like, hit me? Can you land, please? I need my zero souls back, thank you. Where are you even going? Not a great position to be in, I think. But yeah, you guys blow your little fireballs. Yes, yeah, really cute, really cute. What the f <laughs> Miyazaki, please, my hitbox is very sick. Okay, see, that was just rudeness, is what that was. These guys are duo goals right now. Like, actually the most iconic duo you'll ever see in your life. Get you a man who blows fire with you, you know? Alright, well that's good. <laughs> no! Don't let me on fire, please. I'm innocent. Whatever it was too much, apparently? I mean, to be fair, she had a lot going for her, you know? Like, a lot. Oh, yo, I did 420 damage. <laughs> They're just trying to play their mixtape for you? Oh, I get it. Mixtapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hashtag perfect couple, right? Twin humanities, one for each boy. Let's go. Easy money. Easy money. We have money. We can fix our weapon now. <laughs> First try. First try, gamers. Clean. Clean. Easy, easy game. Are you murder mode? Last new game, yeah. If weapon broken, throw it away. Exactly, exactly. Why'd you murder him? Because I was going into new game plus and I want to see what he would do. I want. I murdered Glance. I murdered everyone. Everyone. Except for the moss selling lady who ran away and then screamed at me for 10 minutes and I actually laughed a lot because it was really good. Okay, sense fortress, baby. Let's go. It is only human. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? We have the same laugh. <laughs> in the in the re remaster of Dark Souls, please, FromSoft, hire me to do the voice acting for whatever the f this guy's name is. Dude, have you been waiting for me this entire time? Sinister baby, watch this. Oh! <laughs> Quintuple kill. Get that kill streak. Call in my chopper. Join Phase Clan. 
Do FaZe Clan does does stabbings or just snipers? Oh, thanks for the Titanite shard, idiot. I love when people do things on YouTube that are like wise and they talk about like stuff. I love it, you know? When they do like when they do like scripts and they plan stuff and they they decide what they're going to talk about before they talk about it. It's just like wow, you know? Because it's like completely the reverse of what I do, which is just like woo, you know, like head first screaming uh dingus dingusery. And it just really impresses me when people actually think about stuff beforehand. It's just like like actually unbelievable stuff. The Cressidax has Divine on it? The Cressidax is from Patches. Is the implication here that he killed a cleric and took their stuff? That is the implication, right? Because I, for some reason I, I was like, well, what if Patches was a cleric and he became disillusioned and then that's why he had that stuff. But no, he stole that stuff. He stole it. He stole it. It's pretty certain that he stole it. Maybe that's why he hates clerics, though. Maybe he was a cleric. What about the deep lore of, of, of uh, Patches being a cleric, getting disillusioned, having all the equipment, and then murdering them? You find him in the catacombs and whatnot, he still has it? Yeah, but I thought that he would have stolen... Because he's had previous victims, right? I'm assuming he's had many victims over time. Like, it's not like that's his first rodeo, you know? He hates them because they're hypocritical. Fair. Fair. <laughs> but what if... What if... We can use this, right? We have the stats. What if he says they're hypocritical, but they're really not, and the main reason he thinks they're hypocritical is because he failed at being a church boy? It's time for Sens. Guy who just vibes over here. We're gonna get him so we can save Big Hat. Um, I know I said all the quests, but I might actually skip Big Hat, largely because we did Big Hat, do you know what I mean? So... Oh ho! Ah, where did you come from? Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Asshole! Mm. Mm. Ah, so you see my sight. Yes, indeed. I've run up against the wall. Literally, or what? A ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough. <laughs> so here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> He's too plump. I'm dead. <laughs> Edgy opinion: Onion Bro is better than Solaire. I love Solaire. So you know, eh, but at the same time, Onion Bro is really great. I never noticed this ladder. What's down here? Ah, I see. Nothing. What is the point of this ladder? Is this the hard one? Yeah, this is the hard one. Okay. What am I doing? We were so close! I just went for it like an idiot! Oh, I shouldn't have went for it! No! We were so close to greatness! Time to speed run. Maybe we shouldn't speed run. I have doubts. You know what, Didi? Here's what I have to say to your doubts. You're probably right. Statistically, you are right. <laughs> you are indeed correct. By how do you block in this game? I actually don't remember. So many doubts. Listen, it's fine. We almost made it back. We didn't at all. Do you ever feel a pang of guilt whenever you revisit those poor merchants and smiths and other NPCs that you mercilessly killed another life? No. I don't feel any guilt. They deserved it. They had stuff inside of them, like souls and or item drops and or lore. So, you have lore inside of you. You will catch my blade. What's over here? I don't remember. You! I feel better. Graph is the infant. No, I'm a, I'm a kitty cat gamer. Oh, shit! 
Wait, what? What is this? Yo, what is even this? I never went down here. I didn't know this was- Oh, I did go down here, but I don't think I took this route. Oh, do I have to jump over there? Let's find out. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well. Um. <laughs> Everyone, homeward bone, homeward bone. <laughs> stupid zone, but it also is so annoying. Hmm. You seem quite lucid. Why, thank you for noticing. Chad tells me I'm crazy, but Big Logan. Hat Logan knows the truth. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. Yeah. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and Yeah, knowledge is great because you don't need to hold it in your purse. You just keep it in your brain, and it, it's, it doesn't Not weigh you down, and it doesn't give you shoulder problems if you keep too much stuff in your purse. Not that I'm speaking from experience. It's not like I keep like three books in there and a notebook and it hurt my shoulder and then I, I had to kind of even it out by switching arms or anything. Anyway, the point is knowledge is good. I do murder my husband, though. Listen, that's <gasps> Iron targets! The eldest food is cool, but some for these cool emotes for you need graphic, raft, gravity, raft, blush, raft, comfy, raft, knife, raft, love, raft, lure, raft, hunter, raft, wine, raft, sad, raft, 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 snack, raft, 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 hmm, raft, war, raft, ice, is fine, raft, wit, raft, ab, raft, food. Oh my god, I got mine plotted. Hi, Tarky! Hi! It was like he's intimidated by my affection. Tarky! Do something! Get over here! Get these. Rafwa underscore you and Rafwa underscore BW Rafwa underscore you and Rafwa underscore you and Rafwa underscore FF haha. What what is happening? Yo man, thank you for the hundred. Okay, okay. Get this money, Tarky! Tarky? Why is this health burn off? Tarkis, no! Ah shit! Yeah, bosses are harder with summons. It was for the Lord. Just let Targus do the job. Targus is a dingus. Black iron Targus, more like black iron dingus. 